So one of my favorite drummers, Alex Van Halen, uh, did a song that's super classic, a drum groove that's super classic, Hot for Teacher, on the 1984 Van Halen album. And when I first heard it, the first thing I thought about was Gene Krupa, Sing, 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 because I hear that floor top. It's not the exact sing, 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 sticking or floor tom sound or anything else. But what was interesting was he combined that kind of Gene Krupa floor tom swing with a double bass drum part that's very reminiscent. And in the song, Hot for Teacher, it's extremely reminiscent of Billy Cobham, the great Billy Cobham on a song called Quadrant Four. Um, and Quadrant 4 is on the Spectrum album. So before we do Hot for Teacher, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the Quadrant 4 Billy Cobham shuffle. This is kind of what I hear on Billy Cobham Quadrant 4. One, a two, a one, two, three. Now that album, Quadrant Four, what a great album. Billy Cobham, solo album, his, his name's on the album. Lee Sklar playing bass. Tommy Bolin, the late, great Tommy Bolin playing guitar. And I believe Jan Hammer on keyboards, right? So that album changed the game. That beat right there, Quadrant Four, check that out. What I think Alex Van Halen did on Hot for Teacher, he didn't do all those ghost notes with the left hand. Instead, on the late, great Eddie Van Halen's guitar solo, I hear him going da -da 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 while two and four is being played on the snare. So anyway, now I'm going to take that bass drum undercurrent from quadrant four. And uh, I'm going to also overlay the Gene Krupa type of floor tom vibe. But Alex... Uh, did kind of some of these Billy Cobham uh, rhythms. So this is, again, we used to play this song every night uh, in the David Lee Roth band, and I did my version of what I remembered. I wasn't trying to play every sticking exactly right. I was in the moment. We often just, you know, improvised. We were jamming, okay? And this is kind of what I did. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. I have to remember that I don't think Alex was doing a lot of those ghost notes. I kind of drift into the Billy Cobham left-hand stuff. And I hear Alex is more ding da 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 Now, a slight departure. I know we're talking about Hot for Teacher, but we departed into what inspired Hot for Teacher. In fact, Alex Van Halen even mentioned that in a Robin Flans interview he did in Modern Drummer. He said that he really borrowed a lot of that beat from Billy Cobham, uh, the Spectrum album, Quadrant Four. But you can also find out that Simon Phillips, who's very inspired by Alex Van Halen, by, uh, I would say, Billy Cobham more, Simon Phillips, very inspired by Billy Cobham, as we all are. He did with Jeff Beck, his own version of a, a, a double bass shuffle, a Simon Phillips double bass shuffle called Space Boogie. Now, I say boogie, like in Texas, boogie, let's play a boogie. He says in his very nice English accent, Space Boogie. I'm now gonna play Space Boogie. Here's a version of Space Boogie. Well, Space Boogie, he's doing that in seven. He kind of lobs off one. Here's eight. Simon goes, playing in seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So in a way, I'm kind of tying all this vocab back to Gene Krupa. Because no matter what style you want to be the best at, and I'm not trying to be the best at any one style. I'm trying to be as good as I can be at every style. But whatever style you'd like to be best at, the more you delve into different parts of drumming, different vocab from the past, from now, thinking about what could be going on tomorrow, the more it'll help that style you really, really want to be best at. Finding out the people that I love the most that are playing right now, who did they listen to? Who were their inspirations? If you want to find out about a certain drummer, say you like drummer A, read some interviews about drummer A, go on drum channel and look these people up. They've probably been on drum channel. Everybody has, okay? And they're talking on the couch with Don Lombardi. And I listen to this and this and this and this. Well, then go back and research this and this and this and this. And then when you've got this, find out who this listened to. This and this, find out who the second this listened to. It all goes back. You can listen to Buddy Rich on Johnny Carson's show. If you YouTube Buddy Rich on Johnny Carson, you can hear him talking about drummers that many of you might have never heard of before. Chick Webb. Big Sid, Cat, Big Sid Catlett. That's not a name that rolls off the lips of a lot of drummers these days, right? Big Sid Catlett inspired Buddy Rich, as did Gene Krupa. Find out about the great Louis Belson, one of my heroes, not just as a drummer, but as a man, was, was Louis Belson. I became super great friends with Louis. I was a pallbearer at his funeral. He was at my dad's funeral. He was that kind of friend. He just was super people, person, the glass is always half full kind of guy. Louis was always looking at the bright side. Well, Louis, when he was a kid, he won the Gene Krupa drum contest. So Louis ended up playing a lot of duets with Gene, with Buddy Rich. And the first time I saw Louis Belson play live, it was uh, at the Wichita Jazz Festival. And his band played and Buddy Rich's band played. And they did a drum duet. Let's not even call it a battle. Let's just call it a drum duet. They played musically together. Sure, each one was on top of their game, and they were trying to one-up the other one. But in the, in the end, they played some things in unison. And with their bands, there was a duet. One of the most fun duets I ever played was with Peter Erskine. We were playing a, a drum clinic together for Pro Sound up in Denver, Colorado. And Peter said, Hey, instead of doing a drum duel, let's do a drum duet. And I thought, that is worded so well. Let's play musically together. Let's do some unison things. Let's work a few things out and let's trade. Let's use dynamics. Let's make it a duet. And that was so fun. So anyway, yeah, go back into the history books and you can delve, dig, you know, so dive so deep, uh, especially just with YouTube and find out. Anybody you hear here on Drum Channel talking about another drummer, find out who they played with. Go on Wikipedia. It's not always 100% accurate, but a lot of times you get a lot of really great info. Just put in the name. I mentioned Billy Cobham. Put in Billy Cobham Wikipedia. You're going to find out when they were born. You're going to find out where they were born, who they played with. You're going to see all kinds of different clickable links to, to videos. Go deep into the history because that's how we grow. We can always look at history and learn about the future. That's what I would recommend.